the official movement to do away with the Lord Jesus, having already progressed considerably, the Lord Jesus, according to John's record, turns more and more to the individual. The nation is ready to reject him. Its leaders and high priests are planning to kill him. We learn from the Gospel of Matthew. And John is careful here because he's writing for a generation that came much later to strengthen the Christians, the believers of that generation. That Jesus talks to the individual, gives invitation to the individual. If any man eat, if any man will do, if any man thirst, if any man enter, if any man serve. In every one of these, you see, there's the element of invitation. There is also a statement of fact and a guarantee. And it is open now to the individual to respond. In John 6, 51, Jesus was soon to offer up himself as God's lamb. An eternal life is promised to any man who would avail himself of this ample provision. That expression, my flesh, that's his physical body, he gives, he says, for the life of the world. When Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, he paid the price. It was enough for anybody, for everybody, anywhere, anytime. But only the individual who comes to him to partake, to make it personal, to eat. What a, what a strong expression. To just as in one takes in physical food for the body, so one may take the very spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ to move in. So you see, there's a personal decision. And I think this needs to be emphasized that while Christ died for all, he suffered for all, he said so. He says, I, I give this. For the whole world, God so loved the world that he gave. But if any man will eat, if you will take Christ, you'll live forever. Isn't that helpful?